Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a death swap in Minecraft using only commands. And I came up with this way of doing it just all on my own. I I know a decent bit of commands, but like I'm not great at them, but I made death swap, so I think that's pretty good. So if you're new to commands, then you're going to need to get a command block first, and how you do that is you go into chat, and then you're going to type in this command here, slash give at s command underscore block, and once you have that, you're going to need these two types, the repeating command block and the chain command block. Now you don't actually have to run this command and just add that text at the beginning, to make it into the other command blocks. You can just place it down and then you switch it over to chain, you can pick block that, switch it over to repeat, pick block that, and now you have your command blocks. And the next step is going to be getting these laid out. You're first going to want a repeating command block here, and then 18 chain command blocks in a row here. And make sure all your arrows are facing in the same direction, same way that the repeating command block is facing. Make sure everything is right. And you're going to want to turn all these chain command blocks onto conditional. And you can know if they're conditional if you see this little indent at the back of the arrow. And once you have that all laid out, it's time to start typing the commands. And the first one you're going to do is this repeating command block. And you don't really need like these first ones all the way up to this diamond block. You could technically just have like these eight command blocks, and you'd need to change this first one to repeating and make it the same delay as like this one is, and make it con unconditional actually and yeah so first I'll show you the necessary part this is the part that actually makes it so that you swap after like however long you set the delay to so I'll show you that real quick the first one it's gonna be execute at a uh, tag equals p1 and then the three arrows facing up with spaces in between them, summon minecart. And what that's going to do is uh, just make a minecart appear at whatever player has the tag of P1. And to actually get the tags on, you're going to need to type in slash tag uh, at S if you're going to be P1, then add P1. One, so now I'm player one. Uh, so if this were to run, a minecart would appear at me. And then this command block, tag at e type equals minecart add p1 stand. And the reason it's stand and not cart is because I tried to use armor stands, but it just didn't work out. And I'm too lazy to change all that text. And what this is going to do is tag the minecart that would just have been summoned at me with this tag so that I can run commands that only affect it. And you'll see why I want to do that in just a second. In this third command block, uh, I'm going to do execute at a tag equals p2 and then the three arrows facing up. And what the arrows facing up do is they make it so that the thing you summon there is uh it's summoned at the place that you're summoning at but the important thing is that it'll be facing the same direction as the person it got summoned at so yeah, that's really useful because it'll make it so that it's just a bit more smooth of a transition when 
you get swapped places. Uh, you could technically just do the three squiggly lines, which are tildes, I believe. Uh, but this just makes it a bit better. And of course, uh, P2 is going to be player 2, that's going to be the person you're going up against. So this fourth command block is going to tag uh, player 2's stand, it's going to tag at E, add p two stand, and what's in brackets here is type equals minecart, comma, tag equals exclamation point p1 stand. And what that's going to do is make it so that the minecart that is not the player 1 minecart will be tagged with player 2 minecart, or player 2 stand, but you should probably change it to player 2 cart just to make it a bit more simple. Uh, so yeah, that'll make it so that the teleport commands don't get all messed up and people get teleported to like the same location, because that is not what we want to do. And the next one is execute at e type equals minecart tag equals p2 stand. Uh, and then you do the three arrows facing up. TP at A in brackets tag equals player one or P1. And the three arrows facing up, of course. And what that's going to do is teleport player one to player two's minecart. And that's how that player gets swapped. And. Then the next one is going to be execute at E, type equals minecart, tag equals P1 stand. Uh, the arrows facing up, TP at A, tag equals P2, three arrows facing up. And that'll make it so that player 2 gets swapped to player 1's location. Then the next one is going to kill both of those minecarts. This one is kind of bad because... You know, you're not going to be able to use minecarts in your traps. I don't imagine people would want to do that, but... Uh, sorry about that. If you were planning on using a minecart for one of your traps. And since when the minecart gets killed by this, it actually drops the item. You're going to want to kill at E, type equals item, name equals minecart. Uh, so that there aren't just random minecarts laying on the ground where you get teleported to. That is all for the necessary information you need to know to make death swap. That's all you technically need to make it so that, like, every five minutes or whatever you set the delay to be, um, you will get swapped with the other player. But if you want to know how to make a countdown show up in chat, counting down from ten, uh, to the moment that you get swapped, then you'll need to pay attention to this part. First is this repeating command block. The delay for one minute is 1,200 ticks, so you're going to want to do five times that if you're planning on doing a swap every five minutes. And you're going to want it to be on unconditional, needs... You're going to want it to be on unconditional, always active, not execute on first tick, because that just wouldn't make much sense. And, of course, repeating command block and the actual command. This is going to be like the same throughout, besides the fact that you'll be swapping out the text. Uh, so it's slash tell raw at A, and the squiggly bracket. That in quotes, raw text, colon, bracket, squiggly bracket, quotes, text, colon, quotes. Then you're going to want to do the text, and if you want to make it this shade, you're going to need to get this character on Xbox. If you just uh, press LT once to get onto the like special characters page you're gonna see like a backwards P that looks something like that and if you hold down A on it then go down then go over to the side one 
you're going to get this character. Uh, I'm not sure how to get it on other devices. You might just be able to copy and paste it from Google or something. But you're going to want to do that character, then C, to get this shade of red. Uh, and then after you have that shade of red in or not, and you type in the text, I'm going to do a quote, squiggly bracket, bracket, squiggly bracket. And that's all for the repeating command block at the start. And there it is. There it goes in chat. And since there's another player, this won't die, but... Yeah. That is okay, because... You're gonna have another player if you're actually gonna play Death Swap. Uh, probably. Now for these next 10 chain command blocks that are leading out of this, and how they work is once this activates, this will activate uh, with 20 ticks of delay, which is one second, so every second it'll do the next text, and that'll just make it so that the countdown is real, not just some fake countdown. And what you're going to do for these command blocks is uh, the same exact command that we had in here, except, of course, you'll be changing the text to whatever number you are on in the countdown. So since I started saying swapping in 10, then I'd do 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then swapping exclamation point. Uh, but you can customize that however you want, it doesn't really matter how it is, but this is just how I did it, and by the way, uh, you don't have to do all this complicated stuff with tell raw, it just makes it so that there isn't like a arrow pointing to the text, uh, when it shows up in chat, it just makes it so that it shows up in chat, which just looks nicer. And that is... that's all. That's how you make Death Swap in Minecraft, and it always rains on here. Why is it always raining? Please help me. Um, and I guess that's it. Bye.